हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द डिजिटल सर्किट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सब्ट्रैक्शन यूजिंग द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स हाउ वी यूज द आर एंड आर माइनस वन कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू फाइंड आउट द सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ टू नंबर वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड it is required because it is going to reduce the hardware requirements right so if i require some hardware to find out the subtraction of two numbers if i use the complement method i will be requiring less hardware how i will be using the adders for the subtraction operation only right if i find out the complement if i use the complement instead of the negative number i will use the adders to find out the subtraction and let's understand how we use the adders to find out the subtraction of two numbers so let's start our discussion with the subtraction using r minus 1's complement and here also i to i will be telling you how we will be using the addition operations or the adders to find out the subtraction so there is no need of subtractors we will be just using the adders to find out the subtractions right so we are using the r minus 1's complement and if i have to find out a minus b it can be represented as a plus b double dash so b double dash represents the r minus 1's complement right so r minus 1's complement is represented by double dash right this is the same representation that we used in the last video as well now we will find out the b double dash we are now very much aware how we can find out the r minus 1's complement of b we can easily find out it we can find out a plus r minus 1's complement of b right so we can add these two numbers b uh, b double dash we can find out a we already know right so we can add these two and we will look for the carry so if the carry is there so if the carry is 1 so i will be saying that the output is a positive number and what i have to do i have to add this carry to the a plus b double dash so as to get the final output right so the a minus b will be carry added to a plus b double dash if the carry is 0 one thing is concluded that the output is a negative number and we just need to find out the r minus 1's complement of a plus b double dash so let's understand these things with the help of some examples so the first example that we have is 28 base 10 minus 15 base 10 so this is the decimal number and we know if i subtract 15 from 28 i'm going to get 13 but how with the help of 9's complement i'm going to do that that we have to understand so first thing that i need to find out is a plus b double dash and for that we need to find out b double dash it will be equal to 99 in the base 10 minus 15 in the base 10 so when you do that i will be getting 84 in the base 10 right so b double dash we have got now what i have to do i have to find out a plus b double dash what is a a is 28 base 10 plus 84 base 10 so when you add these two you are going to get 8 plus 4 is 2 and we will be getting one as the carry 8 plus 2 is 10 and one carry is added so we will be getting 1 2 and one will be left out as a carry so when one is here as the carry we know this is a positive number and we have to add this one to this 12 number to get the output so the answer will be 12 plus 1 that is 13 base 10 right so the carry what i have done i have taken the carry i have added it to 12 and i got 13 in the positive so this is the output which is positive in nature right so now coming to the question number 2 now here we have the binary numbers and again what i will be using i will be using the ones complement that is the r minus ones complement and now we will be finding out b double dash this is b so b double dash will be equal to i will be taking all ones how many digits are there five digits are there so i am going to take five ones minus Double zero triple one base two, so it will be coming out to be equal to double one triple zero. So this is my b double dash. Now what I have to do? I have to find out a plus b double dash. What it would be? Triple one double zero 
बेस टू प्लस डबल वन ट्रिपल जीरो बेस टू राइट सो नाउ हेयर वी हैव द ट्रिपल वन डबल जीरो प्लस डबल वन डबल जीरो सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट वुड बी द आंसर विल बी इक्वल टू सो जीरो एंड जीरो आर एडेड टू जीरो वी विल बी गेटिंग जीरो वन इज एडेड टू जीरो वी विल बी गेटिंग वन वन इज एडेड टू वन वी विल बी गेटिंग जीरो प्लस वन एज द कैरी सो हेयर वी विल बी गेटिंग वन एंड वन एज द कैरी बिकॉज वन प्लस वन प्लस वन वी विल बी गेटिंग वन प्लस वन एज द कैरी सो नाउ दिस इज माई आंसर एंड वी हैव वन एज द कैरी सो वेन आई हैव वन एज द कैरी द आउटपुट इज पॉजिटिव सो हेयर आई कैन से दिस नंबर वुड बी पॉजिटिव एंड नाउ आई हैव टू एड द कैरी to the a plus b double dash so what would be the answer answer would be 10101 right in the base 2 okay so this is my answer coming to the next question and this is representing my second case how let's understand this again we need to find out b double dash here b double dash will be equal to 99 base 10 minus 28 base 10 so it will be equal to so here we will be having 1 9 minus uh, 2 will be equal to 7 71 base 10 right so now we have found out b double dash i have to add a plus b double dash right so i have add i have to add a to this 71 what is a a is 15 in the base 10 plus we have 71 in the base 10 so what the answer would be 5 plus 1 is 6 7 plus 1 is 8 so we will be having 86 in the base 10 so what is the answer answer will not be having carry so we don't have any carry so which means we have the negative answer so this represents the ones complement of the answer so we will be having the ones complement of this what would be the ones complement of this 99 minus 86 it will be equal to 13 in the negative so we will be having neg negative 13 as the answer right so this is how you can solve it and one example we are taking for the hexadecimal number as well so we have f24b minus 213a right so for this one thing you remember that we have from 0 to 9 we represents the hexadecimal as it is 10 is represented by a 11 is represented by b 12 is represented by c 13 is represented by d 14 is represented by e 15 is represented by f now 16 is represented by 10 17 is represented by 1 18 is represented by 12 19 is represented by 13 and 20 is represented by 14 right so this is how we have the representation and please write this representation at the separate side or rough side of your notebook so that the addition and subtraction will become really easy for the hexadecimal number so first thing we have to find out is b double dash which is f f f f minus 213a right so how do we calculate it so first of all i am writing it over here f f f f minus 213a right so f minus a f is representing 15 minus a is representing 10 so 15 minus 10 we know it is 5 so here i will be writing 5 over here right now f minus 3 what is f 15 15 minus 3 will be 12 12 is representing c right so here we will be having c now f minus 1 f minus 1 is 14 which is representing e right so now here we will be having e f minus 2 f minus 2 will be d right which is 13 which is d so d e c 5 16 is the b double dash so we have found out the b double dash now right now what we will be doing we will be adding a to it so what is a a is f 2 4 b plus d e c5 right so when we have to add b plus 5 what is b plus 5 b is 11 11 plus 5 will be 16 which re is which is represented by 1 0 so here we will be having the answer as 0 but we will be having 1 as the carry right so c plus 4 plus 1 c is representing my 12 plus 4 1 2 3 4 Plus one, so we will be having one one as the answer. So we will be having one over here and one as the carry again. Now e plus two plus one, e is fourteen plus one 
plus 2. Again, it is 1, 1. So, we will be having 1 and 1 as the carry over here. F plus D. Now, F is representing 15. D is representing 13. So, 15 plus 13 will be equal to 28. 28 plus 1 is 29. So, now here 20 is represented by 14 and 29 will be represented by So, 28 is represented by 1C and 29 is represented by 1D. So, 1D110 in base 16 is the answer. So, now coming to the R's complement. So, now we are going to do the subtraction using the R's complement. What is the formula? We have to find out A minus B. So, first of all, we are going to find out the R's complement of B and we are going to check the carry. If the carry is 1, the answer is positive and we have to just discard the carry. If the carry is 0, the answer is negative and we have to find out the 2's complement of A plus B dash. Right? So, this one is simpler method. So, here, first of all, we have to find out B dash. So, what would be B dash? So, first of all, we will be seeing what is B double dash? What was R's complement? R minus 1's complement plus 1. So, what was B double dash? B double dash plus 1 is my B dash. So, what was B double dash? 84. 84 plus 1 in the base 10, it is 85 base 10 is my B dash, right? So, now what I have to do? I have to add A to it. So, A plus B dash will be equal to 28 plus 85 in the base 10, right? So, it will be equal to 8 plus 5 is 3 with the carry 1. 8 plus 2 is now uh, 10 plus 1 is 11. So, we will be having 1, 1, 3. So, here the carry is 1 and the answer is 13. So, carry 1 is discarded. So, here I can write the carry over here. This is my carry. It is discarded. So, when the carry is there, the answer is positive. So, we will be having positive 13 as the answer, right? We all know 28 minus 15 is plus 13. So, now coming to the second question here, also we are going to use the 2's complement. So, now here uh, B dash we need to find out and for that we are going to use a short trick. So, here this is the first 0. It will be represented as it is. This is the first non-zero term. We have to subtract it from 2. We will be getting 1. We have to subtract all of the further digits from 1. So, triple 0 when subtracted from 1 I will be getting triple 1 1 subtracted from 1 I will be getting 0 and here these two 1 subtracted from 1 I will be getting 0 so this is simply how I can find out B dash now what I have to do I have to add A to it so what is A 0 0 1 1 0 0.1001 right so when you add A so you will be getting 1 1 0 1 point 1 0 0 1 and 1 as the carry. So, this is the carry that we have. Carry means we have the answer to be positive. So, this is the answer which is the positive answer. We have to discard the carry. So, answer is equal to 1001.1011 in the base 2. This is my answer of this minus this, right? I don't know what is this number in the decimal. I don't know what is this number in the decimal. Still, I have found out the subtraction using the 2's complement. Now, coming to one more uh, question here. We are going to see how to represent the negative number. So, now here 15 minus 28. First of all, I need to find out the B complement. So, here it will be equal to B double dash plus 1. We know what is the B double dash for 28. B double dash for 28 is 71. So, 71 plus 1 in the base 10. We will be getting 72 in the base 10. Now, I know B dash. What I have to do? I have to add A plus B dash, right? So, A plus B dash will be equal to 15 plus 72 base 10. So, it will be equal to 87 base 10. Now, we know this is the answer, but the carry is not there. So, no carry, which means the negative answer, right? So, answer I have to represent with a negative sign and what I have to do? I have to find out tens complement, right? So, we will be finding out the tens complement of 87. So, first of all, what I will be doing? I will be finding out the 9's complement which is 99 minus 87 so it will be equal to 12 
base 10. Now what we will be doing? We will be adding 1 to it. Right. So answer is 13 with the minus sign. So minus 13 is the answer and we have computed this answer with the help of the tens complement or hours complement. So here we have understood how to apply the hours complement and r minus ones complement to find out the subtraction. In the next video we are going to see how we can find out the overflow condition. When is the overflow condition? When is not the overflow condition? We are going to see a lot of operations. Here just we saw the uh, subtraction operation. We are going to see if I have minus a minus b or if I have a minus b or if I have a plus b what are the uh, various outputs in these three cases how we are going to observe the result how we are going to have the observation of the overflow condition in these three cases so I hope you understood all of the things that I have discussed in this video if you have any doubt in any of the topic you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and also give me your feedback. Thank you so much.